Welcome back to Turtle Code. Today, we're going to build a simple to-do list app using NiceGUI, a Python framework that makes web development easy and fun. In this project, we'll create an interactive to-do list where you can add, check off, and delete tasks with just a few clicks. It's a great way to get familiar with NiceGUI while building something practical. By the end of this video, you'll have a fully functional to-do app, and you'll see how NiceGUI simplifies UI development in Python. So grab your code editor and let's build this together. You can support us and get early access to our daily videos by joining the channel. We'd love to have you as part of our community. Before we start coding, let's set up a virtual environment. A virtual environment helps keep our project isolated, so any libraries we install won't interfere with other Python projects on our system. It also makes it easier to manage dependencies. First, open command prompt. Now let's create our virtual environment by running python-m venv venv. Uh, this will create a folder named venv, which contains everything we need to run our project in an isolated environment. Next, we need to activate it. If you're on Windows, run venv script slash slack activate.bat. Once activated, you'll notice that your terminal now starts with venv. This means all the Python packages we install will be inside this environment. Now that our virtual environment is ready, let's install NiceGUI by running pip install NiceGUI. This will download and install everything we need to build our to-do app. Now, let's create a new file for our project. In the virtual environment, create a main.py file. This is where we'll write our NiceGUI code. All right, with everything set up, we're ready to start coding our to-do list. First, we bring in NiceGUI to help us create our to-do list app. We start by adding a big bold title at the top so it's clear what our app is about. Then we add a text input field where we can type in our tasks. To make it more user-friendly, we include a placeholder that says enter a task so users know what to do. And of course, we need a button labeled add which will eventually let us add tasks to our list. We also need to actually run the app so we call ui.run at the end. That makes everything appear in the browser, just like magic. Now, let's save and run it. When the app opens in the browser, we can see our title, the input box, and the button sitting there nicely. But wait, if we try clicking the button, nothing happens. That's because we haven't told it what to do yet. No worries, we'll fix that next. First, we need to make the add button actually do something when clicked. So we update it by adding on click equals lambda add squirt task task input dot value. Now, whenever we click the button, it will call a function named add task and pass in whatever text we typed in the input box. Of course, we don't have an add task function yet, so let's create one. First, we introduce an empty list called tasks equals sway, which will store all our tasks. Then we define the add task function. This function checks if the user entered a task, so we don't add empty tasks by mistake. And if they did, it adds the task to our list with a done status set to false. But simply adding the task to a list won't update the UI. So we also call update task list for, which we'll create next. Now we want to toggle the task status when it's checked or unchecked. So we create another function called toggle task, which flips the done status of a task whenever it's clicked and then updates the task list to reflect the change. Next up, we define update score task list to actually display the tasks on the screen. First, it clears out the task container so we don't keep duplicating tasks every time we add one. Then for each task, we create a checkbox with the task's name and a delete button. If we check the box, it calls toggle task to mark it as done or not. And if we click the delete button, it will eventually remove the task, but we haven't added that function yet. Don't worry, we'll get there. Next, we need an art place to display our tasks. Uh, right now, we have the function update task list, which is responsible for listing tasks, but it needs somewhere to actually put them. To fix this, we add task container e equals ui.column. This creates a vertical container where all our tasks will appear. Now, every time we call update task list, it will update this container with the current tasks. Now that we can display tasks, let's make sure we can also remove them. We add a function called remove task, which takes the index of a task, deletes it from the list, and then calls update task list to refresh the display. Since our delete button is already calling this function, 
tasks will instantly disappear when we click the cert button. And that's it. Our to-do list app is now fully functional. We can add, check, uncheck, and delete tasks, all with a clean and interactive UI. Now it's time to test our to-do list and see everything in action. We save the file, and since NiceGUI automatically restarts the server, the app reloads in the browser. That means we don't have to manually restart anything. Super convenient. Now let's try adding some tasks. In the input box, we type do shopping and click the add button. Boom, it appears in the list. Let's add another one, clean the room, and just like that, we now have two tasks displayed. Uh, the checkboxes are working, and when we click the buttons, the tasks get deleted. Uh, let's continue. There's a problem here. We haven't used a database in the project, so instead we're working with lists. This means that when the server restarts, the tasks will be erased. Let's test this. For example, I'll add the task pay bills. Now, by pressing Control C at the same time, I'll stop the server. We can see that the server is shutting down because the website becomes inaccessible in the browser. Now I'll restart the server, and when I go back to the website, you'll notice that the pay bills task is no longer there because we don't have a database. How can we fix this? Let's think about it. I'll share a video on my YouTube channel that walks you through the solution. You can find the details in the video description. To give you a brief idea of how to fix it, we can use a simple file-based storage or SQLite database to save tasks, ensuring they persist even when the server restarts. I'll explain step-by-step step in the video, and you can try it out yourself. You may not have worked with NiceGUI before, but I have a playlist on my YouTube channel where I explain the NiceGUI library step-by-step. Step. You can start learning NiceGUI by following this playlist. You can find the playlist in the video description. Don't forget to check out my other playlists to further develop your skills in the software world.